Go on then, you have a lion. You deserve it. Oh, hello. I knocked really quietly so I wouldn't wake the baby. Yeah. Did you sleep okay? Yeah, it took me a while to get off, but yeah. I could murder a brew. Come on then. Hey, I'll tell you what, you stick kettle on, I'll fetch baby. Okay. Hello, gorgeous. Hiya. Oh, do you have a good sleep? Yeah? Aren't you a good girl letting your mummy have a lie in? Oh. Oh, we're a bit stinky though, aren't we? Come on, let's go and get you sorted. Yeah. Morning. You all right? No. Where's Steve? He's in the back. <coughs> Sorry about the mess. So what time does the office open then? And will she be in at half past or will she be out snatching children? Yeah, I know, I know, but it's hard to remain calm when you've got a little lad you've loved and cared for for so long and then he's suddenly snatched away from you for no good reason. Yeah, well, I will ring again at half past and then I'll ring again and again until someone explains to me where our little boy has gone. You're the best, Steve McDonald. Look, this shouldn't have happened. We'll get him back, I promise. We will get him back. Yeah, well, I think I have a right to know what's going on. Me? I, I, I am the husband of the little boy's real mum. Oh, well, I guess I'll call back later then, won't I? Come on, then, let's hear it. I never said anything. No, no, but you're dying to, aren't you? How about told you so? You're upset. Yes, I'm upset, because they have taken advantage of my wife and now my stepson's been taken into care. Who says they took advantage? Oh, right. I get it. Result for Gail. Another chance to get to bash Kylie. So, why didn't she tell you about this before then, eh? This terrible injustice? Why didn't she tell you her evil sister forced her to give up her son in return for a few quid and a ticket to Ayanapa? I don't know, Mum. Maybe she felt a little bit ashamed, you know? Maybe she felt slightly powerless to do anything. You need to open your eyes. Yeah, and you need to think again, Mum, because nothing you say or do is going to make me stop loving the girl. And you should know this as well, that when it comes down to it, the choice between you and her, she will win every time. My ears are burning again. Dave has just rung the social services. Yeah? What did they say? Nothing. There's nobody there at the minute. I'm going to ring them back soon. OK. My best play it slow. They don't like it if you go in there all guns blazing. Yeah, fine. That can be cool. But we have rights, you know, and you're the mum, so that trumps everything. Tea? It's just brewed. Oh, yeah. Ta. Listen, don't worry. I think this could work out really well for us. Now that they know Steve and Becky bullied you, I think we stand a really good chance of getting Max back. Right, Becky's on the phone to our social worker. I'm nipping out for two minutes. Can you keep an eye on her for me? Yeah, no problem. Two minutes. Oh, thank goodness she's gone. Who's gone? Sylvia, the cash and carry. Can I see, sometimes you just want to get on with what you're doing without being pestered. Hey, I heard what happened to Chesney. <coughs> Kidnapped and tied up. <gasps> Can you believe it? It must have been really awful. Well, if you're after some gossip, you'll get nothing from me. Uh, excuse me, I was offering my sympathy. I know how worried Katie's been. Well, it'd been better if he'd been kept in that cellar for another couple of hours. Well, why is that then? Given Katie a chance to get rid of the baby. Oh, well, you don't mean that. Yes, I do. I know she thinks I'm King Herod of Weatherfield, but oh, she had a chance again, you know? You know what it's like. Having a kid changes everything. Yeah, for the better. Not when you're 16. Well, when our Gary was at school, I was considered getting on a bit. No, she's a bright kid, you know. Not just at school, but she got her head screwed on. So why not be happy for her then? Because she's throwing her life away. <sighs> 
I've got all this to look forward to, haven't I? And on that, if you came and told me that Faye was going to be up the duff at 16, I wouldn't be having a party. What's that? In fact, I'd probably track the little scumbag down who got her pregnant and string him up from the nearest tree by his... Unless it was like Chesney. What difference does that make? Because he is a good kid. With a good heart. Keep with the heart, yeah? Do you know what? She can do a lot better. You! You stupid idiot! You've ruined everything! Everything was fine before you stuck your nose in! Do you know what? Carly's right about you. You think you can go around bullying everyone, don't you? Yeah, well, do you know what? I'm glad you lost Max, cos now he can be back where he belongs, with his real mum. With his real mum? She doesn't want him! That's why he was in care in the first place! She sold him once, and she'll sell him again, or swap him for a nice pair of shoes. Now you stay away from that little boy! No way! Carly's his mum, right? Not Becky, and now she's got me in her corner. We'll never give up on Max. I don't get this! Why are you trying to mess up my life? What's in it for you? Carly's my wife. Oh, you've only known her five minutes. You'll be divorced come Christmas. I don't think so, pal. By Christmas, we'll be a proper family. Me, Kylie and little Max. Might even go to Euro Disney together. I'll send you a card. Yes. Yes. Listen, I love that little boy and I just want to make sure he's OK. Well, of course I understand. Yeah, you've got a job to do and you need to go and do it. So, yeah, you just, you have your meetings and we'll wait patiently and see what happens. All righty then. Thank you very much. Bye. Yes! I just figured out where they put Max. No. Coffee. No ta, I'm going to go get my boy. Eggs, milk, bread, beans. Do you need any bathroom stuff? Shampoo, soap, deodorant. Why do I whiff? No, I just wondered if you was running out of anything. Nappies, wet wipes, baby stuff. No, no, John always... He always makes sure we're well stocked. Right, as soon as Julie gets here, I'll go out and get this. Julie? Yeah, she said that she relieved me once she gets off for lunch. We agreed you shouldn't be on your own. You agreed what? We didn't think you wanted to be on your own in the house. I'm not alone, am I? I've got a hope. Do you want me to go? You are so sweet, all of you. I really appreciate it. I can't tell you how much it means to have such good friends. So, stay or go? Yeah, stay. It's my turn to put kettle on. I'm bursting for a week. Can you use your loo? Of course you can. You know where it is. Ta. <laughs> Just a small town girl. Living in a lonely world. Where is she? Uh, did you not see her? She just left. Left? Yeah, she said she's going to go and get Max. What? But she doesn't know where Max is. Well, she was talking to the social worker. She hung up and then said, I know where he is. I'm going to go and get him. Two minutes, Ash, to keep an eye on her for. Two minutes? See, I did keep my eye on her. So where is she? We well, didn't tell her to chain her to the radiator. Well, you know what she's going to go and do now? She's going to go and snatch him, isn't she? And then what? They're going to throw the flipping book at us. Oh, this is bad. This is very, very bad. <laughs> Oh, does he? You do realise I have a claw hammer in my hand? I'm not scared of you. After what I've just been through right now, I'm not scared of anything. I just wanted to make it crystal clear that whatever you and Katie thought, I would never run away from my responsibilities and I would never, ever let Katie down. Well, turning up and making a big speech doesn't exactly change anything, does it, Chesney? It changes everything. You're still pregnant, love. You can't force her to have an abortion. Hey! I don't force my daughter to do anything. What kind of a man do you think I am? I'm the kind of man that shouts when he doesn't need to. Look, this is our future. Our choice. It's not our choice, is it? It's not mine, it's not yours. It's Katie's choice. Uh, yeah, and I know what I want. I'm not sure you do, love. We're having this baby. We planned it. It's what we want. You're ready to be a mother? Yeah. 
There's more to being a dad than getting a girl pregnant, you know. I know. So, anything else? What? Anything else you want to tell me, only I've got a lot to do. What, is that it? Oh, you seriously didn't think I was going to give you my blessing, did you? Well, no, but... Hey, maybe I could uh, bang my hammer around a few more times, you know, uh, work up a bit of a sweat. Maybe then I might be able to get used to the idea. Sorry, love. That's the best I can do. Hey, come here. I'm filthy. I don't care. <laughs> Had me up against a wall and round my throat and everything. You said there were bullies, didn't you? Yeah, well, I just saw it again. He threatened you? Told me I'd messed up their plans. Yeah, well, good. I call that a result. There's no way social services will ever let that pair of psychos go near a kid again. Well, that goes for me and all. No, you're Maxie's mum. I'm a rubbish mum. Look at me. Well, you've made a few mistakes. So what? Look at mine. Excuse me. Do I really need to give her the guided tour of our dysfunctional family history? By rights, I should be in the loony bin or jail. And the reason you're not? I'm immune to bad parenting. You're not too big for a thick ear. You see, the physical abuse I can take, it's the mental torture that really hurts. David, that is very hurtful. Right, well, if you step up then and help us get Max back, I'll take it all back. Who's going to listen to my opinion? It's a waste of time. No, it's not. You don't know what social services are like. I've grown up with them my whole life. There's no way they're going to let me have Max back. Even if you were Dad of the Year and she were Mother Teresa. Hey, Max, that looks like hard work. <laughs> Four more laps so you can have a drink. Ready? Go! Do you want some lunch? I could do those beans on toast. No, Ta. I'll get off to the shops as soon as Julie gets here. Whoa! How weird was that? Do you think I might be psychic? I don't know. Does Julie want beans? <laughs> yes, she does. Oh, hello. Can I speak to Fiona State? Uh, yeah. Come in. I got through. Oh, yeah? You got any news on John? Not yet. I'm still looking. Oh, so what can I do for you? I told us in your last interview you'd never met Joy Fishwick, Colin's mother, who died recently. That's right. It's just that one of the neighbours has told us John was a frequent visitor to her house. Oh, I don't know. I've been so busy with the baby. She's even identified John from the photo you gave us. Why would John be visiting the mother of the man whose identity he'd stolen? I'm sorry, um, I didn't know about any of this. I wish I could help. If anything does occur to you, Anything John said, however insignificant it might seem, please get in touch, won't you? Yeah, I will, I promise. I think we've got some strawberry and banana smoothie in the fridge. You want some? Yes, please. OK, coming up. I've missed you so much, so much. Mm. Hey, what are you doing? I've come to pick up Max. He can come home now. Put the boy down. We're responsible for him. Yeah, but there's no need. Honest, he's fine with us. You love it. <laughs> I know, but I'm sorry if you don't let him go right now. I'll have to call the police. No, no, don't do that. I I'm not doing anything wrong, am I? I'm just trying to look after my boy. Please. Look, Becky, Becky, please no. don't do this. He wants to live with us. He's happy with us. Why can't he live with us? Yeah, I know, I know. It's Why? not fair, but this isn't helping. <sighs> He's just going to get us into more trouble and give him more reasons not to let us have him. No. Look, I promise, I promise we will fight for him. No. I'll get a lawyer. I don't care how much it costs, <laughs> but we've got to do it right. Come on, please. Oh, Come on, put him down. No, please. Max. Sorry. Max. Come here. Go on, baby. But are we, we going to come back for you soon? I promise. Really soon, OK? Oh, sorry we're late. You know what it's like. How many eggs? Best make it a dozen. Right. 
I'll be an hour. See you in a bit. Yeah. OK, we'll take it from here. Hey, I don't need babysitting. Oh, well, then humour us. Make us feel like we're doing something useful. How are you feeling in yourself? I'm fine. This one keeps me busy enough. Hey, don't you? Yeah. I barely had time to think about anything else. Oh, so no news from John? No. Well, Apneys has assumed somebody else's identity and gone on a plane to South America. South America? Why South America? Well, they all go there, don't they? Nazis, bank robbers, people that have faked their own deaths. But John was none of those things. <clears throat> what do you think, Fizz? I don't know. And I don't care. I just wish this nightmare was over. Oh, come here, you great pug. Come on. <gasps> oh. oh. How did you find us? Took a guess that they'd take him back to his original foster family. <laughs> did you mean what you said? Mean what? That we're going to fight for him? Yeah, of course we will. We're never going to give up on that little boy. He's part of our family. Ali Fisher. I'm in trouble again, Arthur. I'm afraid so. Well, that was quick. Oh, when she wants a nap, she just goes, which is good because it means I get a break for a few hours. Oh, just think how simple her life must be. Fine. Eat, sleep, burp, nappy. Mm, if only my life was like that. Give it 50 years, that's exactly what it'll be. <laughs> Oh, maybe not so simple. I'll go. Baby's like me. No, it's fine, no. It could be nappy time. Hey, but you could sit the kettle on. I'm shifting gallons of the stuff, but I still want more. Hey, do you think it's gin? I've seen it happen. Gin? Oh, it's OK, baby. <coughs> Mummy's here. Oh. She only wanted a cuddle. But I never did anything. I just talked to him. You can't go around behaving like this. You're clearly upset. Well, so is Max. And so are his foster family. They were really scared. It's not fair. Max is my little boy. Look, given the circumstances, no one wants to take this any further. But this is a warning. You have to stay away from Max. Do you understand? <laughs> What happens now? We're weighing up all the options. What are the options? Well, it's too early to say, but we'll explore the possibility of a return to his birth mother. We oh, was happy here. We were all happy. He had a proper family, and then one stupid little routine visit, and everything's just smashed to pieces. It wasn't a routine visit. We decided to investigate Max's living arrangements after an anonymous call. What? I'm sorry. Do you mean someone grasses up? Did you hear that? I heard, yeah. Someone grasses up. Julie and Sean are downstairs. I know. They won't leave you alone. I've been waiting here all day. How did you...? Hiding in the attic. I like uh, Anne Frank from the Nazis. I've heard everything you said. Give me my baby, please. Our baby? <laughs> heard you talking to the police. I reckon... We can still get away from here if we're careful. No, John, no. Yes. You go downstairs, you get rid of them, and then we'll wait until it's dark and we can sneak out. It won't be easy, but if there's a chance we can all be together... John, there's no chance. You're ill. We can adopt new identities. We're stuck a new life together. I've been thinking about Ireland. Hey, or, or, or maybe even South America. Just give me my baby, please, and go. Go where? I don't care where. Just don't hurt my baby. How can you say that? I can say that because I don't know who you are. And I'm frightened of you. And I want my baby back now. Hope is my baby as much as yours. I would never harm her. I'd die for this little girl. John! No, go! John, please! John! He's got home! Who's that? John! Someone stop him! Hang on. Is that John? John! John! Oh, 
my God! He's phone an ambulance now. I'm phoning, I'm phoning. I never saw her. She, she just ran out. Uh, ambulance, please. My friend, she's been knocked over. And, um, we're on Coronation Street in Weatherfield. Thank you. Come on, please. Talk to us, please. Get off me! You couldn't stand to see me happy in the end, could you? Everything's going to be fine, but you've got to trust me. <laughs> All I've got wanted to do is teach. People die because I wanted to teach. You get out! Get out! <laughs> Dear, what is Fizz going to do then? If you'd like to find out more about how this dramatic week in the street concludes from the actress who plays her, that's Jenny McAlpine. All you need to do is to go to our website, itv.com slash Corey. Well, who's going to the final? The Britain's Got Talent results are next. 